Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. You'll never need an excuse to go explore Austin's crown jewel, the hike and bike trail along Ladybird Lake. But we're gonna give you one anyway, a big one. The city of Austin officially completed the last quarter mile stretch of trail along the 10 mile waterfront loop. There was no shortage of community members and city departments that came out to celebrate the completion with a ribbon cutting. The new section of the trail provides public access to new East Austin parkland along the lake. The Trail Foundation plans to bring some additional enhancements to the area in the coming years. We are no strangers to severe weather, flooding, and wildfires here in Central Texas. Preparing for disasters in advance can significantly impact your safety and recovery in a crisis. The City of Austin, along with the Austin Independent School District, Travis County, and community partners, are piloting a Resilience Hub Network, six hubs in the Eastern Crescent during 2022. This support network will offer many day-to-day -day services and support the community before, during, and after a disaster. The hubs will include accessible community spaces, emergency food, water, and supplies, backup power, and safe temporary shelters. To stay informed, visit austintexas.gov slash resilience hubs. There are a few adorable new residents at Austin's Nature and Science Center, baby porcupines. The adorable porcupets are four months old and now on exhibit. They're just the first of several new residents at the center. In October, visit the newly renovated Small Wonders exhibit to see two baby reptiles and a secret surprise addition. More than 100 animals call the center home and most are native to Central Texas. Head on over to the Austin Nature and Science Center and meet them today. The center is open seven days a week and located at 2389 Stratford. They're not your typical canine, but they play a crucial role in the Austin Police Department. Here's a behind the scenes look at AVD's canine unit. This is Jax. He's about seven and a half years old. He's a Belgian Malinois. Here on Patrol Canine, we have 10 dogs. We are first and foremost a locating tool. That's our main job is if someone were to force entry into a building, uh, run from police, try to hide, um, we will bring the dogs out to locate that, that person. These dogs, just like a new officer would, learn over time, uh, they add experience themselves, and as they continue to work, they just progress and they understand their training uh, and just really you know, enhances a patrol dog and asset. These dogs are so um, intelligent, smart, their noses are so good, they're able to take us there and leave us there, and there's, there's, like they said, there's no replacement for what they're, what they're capable of doing. When they go to work, you know, it's a fun thing for them. They love the work style, uh, so they really get intense, they get focused, uh, and it's, they just love it. I mean, he loves getting in that car. Uh, when he knows it's time to go to work, you can just tell his whole life changes. They can alert us to the presence of a person behind a closed door um, that we, before we even have to enter that, that room, or that building, they'll, they'll tell us there's human odor in here, there's a person in here. And these dogs' ability to you know, detect odor, then move to that odor and alert us to the presence of a person or a suspect is instrumental. And there's nothing that could change or, or replace that. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our city webpage, austintexas.gov. Stay well, Austin.